Today we're going to be shooting some spooky portraits with Dracula film. Hey everyone, Sean here with Photodeox.com. And as you can see by the set behind me, it is Halloween time. And to celebrate this season, uh, today we're actually gonna be reviewing this limited run black and white film. It's called Dracula 35. Now this film is made by the Film Photography Project. They're a small group that has a podcast dedicated to film photography, but they also make limited run film that they sell on their website. So according to the FPP website, Dracula 35 is a 64 ISO fine grain panchromatic negative high resolution film. It's coated on a transparent polyester base, so it's really easy to develop and scan. And Dracula 35 is expanded into the near infrared range. So you're gonna get a beautiful fine grain image with this black and white film, and it's going to be near infrared. So it's gonna do some interesting things with skin tones and with plant life. And it's also 64 ISO, which means it is not very sensitive. And this is great if you're shooting outside and you wanna shoot shallow depth of field. And it's also great for shooting long exposures. Okay, let's load it into a film camera. Uh, today I've decided to use my Zenit 312M. This is a Russian uh, M42 mount camera. It is a later version, so it's fairly plasticky, but it's actually still pretty strong. It's a very standard uh, 35 millimeter SLR, not too fancy, but what I like about it is it is fully manual. Okay, let's load the film now. There we go, we're ready to shoot. Okay, first here are some candids and portraits I shot with the Dracula 35 film with available light. And with the 64 ISO film, I was able to shoot at an F2 and still have a usable shutter speed. Next, I took the film and my Zenit 312M camera to the studio. This is more of an impromptu setup in my living room, but I'm gonna call it a studio. And we were working with our model Abby and using our Photodeox PopSpot Ultra 100 LED Fresnel style lights. These are beautiful and powerful constant source LED lights that you can spot just like a spotlight. So we could put light just on Abby's face and let the background go completely black, kind of creating this classic 1940s horror Hollywood movie look. With this shot, I had one Pop Spot Ultra 100 behind Abby, adding uh, edge light to her hair. And then I had another one kind of positioned up above, spotting down on her face, letting the other side of her face kind of go into mysterious shadow. And I really like this shot because it looks like the poster of a 1970s horror film. And that's what's so great about the PopSpot Ultra 100 lights. Using the focusable beam control and then adding even more control with the barn doors, you can really just put light exactly where you want it in a scene, you know, right on our model's face and let the rest go black for a very powerful cinematic look. Just one note, I did develop this film in monobath, so it's extra contrasty. If I developed it normally, there'd be a little more detail, but I kind of like the extra punch the monobath gave my film. Okay, that was Dracula 35 in a nutshell. I loved shooting on this film stock. You know, the low ISO created a really, really beautiful image. And you know, I haven't shot enough film photography lately, so it was really great to just get in and get my hands dirty and shoot some analog film. Click the link below to get your Dracula 35 film today. But just to let you know, it is a limited stock at the FPP and they may be out soon, so act fast. If you'd like to learn more about our PopSpot Ultra 100 lights, click the link in the description below. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and have a happy Dracula-free Halloween.